Hi guys, welcome to Wild Coast Kayaks. My name is Nigel Lowe. Uh, we're based in East London, South Africa, and we supply kayaks and we kit them out um, anything from electric motors to hatches, um, cell phone holders, rod holders, you name it, we've got it all. And I just want to show you today um, the main brand which we specialize in is the Fluid brand. Fluid kayaks are made in South Africa, good quality, solid plastic, and a good all round product. From double family kayaks, to the little fluid buddy kayak and we've also got the in-between fluid Jumani, so the three meters in length and then this blue one the fluid bumper that's the flagship model that's the ultimate fishing kayak and it's got a big storage hatch where you can put your rods inside and more fish bag put your fish in there and this one is fully kitted and rigged it's got extras on it it's definitely not standard um, and you'll see why in a minute get the shock cord stretch bungee on the front deck nice for sticking jacket under, prawn pump, and anything really if you want to stay on the deck, you don't want to fall overboard. And but moving further back, this is the best part of the bumper, the big hatch. Hatch opens up, um, also comes with a neoprene cover on you um, to stop any water coming through and splashing through the waves launching. On this one, I've got the 12 volt deep cycle battery in here, which is running my electric trolling motor on the back end. And it's all controlled from the front. I'll show you that just now. Really nice foot pedal system, the rudder version, and the top toe section moves, controls your rudder, or like I have the motor on the back. And we've got products that add on your Railblazer rod holders, Railblazer cell phone GPS holder, Railblazer light fitting, and nighttime fishing, or just kayak visibility if you want boats to be able to see where you are. In the mid section of the bumper, we've got a 6 inch hatch, storing hatch. Comes with a mesh bag standard. I've converted this one to a waterproof bag. Just in front of that, you've got your bait up rod holder. And then sturdy handles on either side, also one at the rear, one in the front. And it's not the normal webbing soft handles, it's a solid plastic. You get a good grip to load the kayak. Little recess on either side, so you can put your pliers or your knife in. Recess on this side, you can notice there's a ridge on the side of the kayak. And that's your paddle keeper. Lay your paddle on the side, take the shock cord, pull it over the paddle, clip it on while you're fishing, the paddle stays securely on the side of your kayak. Then getting towards the back of the kayak, another two six inch hatches, there's really a lot of storage place on this kayak. These standard, you can open them up, look inside, they've got a button plug which goes through the bottom of the kayak, so you can leave them as a dry hatch, take the plugs out, get the water floating in and out as a wet hatch. This side's a little bit different. Um, again, look at the side here. Customized it. Got a 12 volt battery in here. All the internal piping. And there's an aerated pump. Just take the battery out. And then you'll see the tsunami aerated pump sucking the water through the bottom. That is all plumbed internally in the kayak. Which comes through into the 8 inch hatch at the back. Also custom done. I've got a black plastic bucket which is custom fitted in your spray nozzle. So what happens is this hatch here pumps the water in, pushes it through inside the kayak, through the piping, sprays it into the bucket, overflows at the back, it will run into your rear deck coil area which has your button drain holes and will just float out there so it keeps your life bait that's in here nice and fresh. And then just next to your seated area there's a switch mounted here. It should be over here if I switch it on. Running the lightweight pump, and then just next to that, you can see there's another button over here that runs for the trolling motor. There will be three reverse, and we've got five speeds forwards. The other thing we did change on this one, it uh, comes standard the same hatches as this, but in an 8 inch in the center back. Um, just easy access of the light plate when you get them in and out quick. We put this hatch on which basically you just close, twist and stow. So it's just one turn up and open. You don't have to screw it on a couple of times on and off. Then getting to the rear section. Nice design, first designed it with a bit of a curve in the bottom. Um, good length, the guys that want to use these kayaks to go out, they have a paddle and take their scuba gear with. Your tank will fit perfectly in the back with your gear. Um, then they've also got the recesses on either side here. You can make a board which fits across there, or a crate that will fit perfectly, and just attach it to the sturdy D-rings on the kayak. 
Another great feature is these D-rings and attachments. Everything they screwed into the fluid products, they not just screws into plastic. They've actually got a solid brass threaded insert, which is molded into the kayak at the factory during the molding process. On the rear, more shock cord, bungee cord. If you want to stash anything in the back deck underneath there, it will keep it in place. And then, getting to the motor on this one, this is a full custom fit, um, wafer boards, brackets, which are fitted. Um, cut off the shaft, trolling motor, we wire the kit, comes through. And this one we made so it is detachable. It's got a waterproof flap. You can unscrew the thread, take it out, pull the pin out, detach the motor, load that in your car, and then carry your kayak without the motor on to load onto the roof. Motor is adjustable, up and down. And I see your rudder cables coming through here. So how do you control your speed in the front here when you're going? You'll just push on your pedals and steer the kayak with your feet. It's really good for fishing. I find in the rivers, when you hook a fish, the wind's blowing you into the bank. Normally you'd be holding your rod and you've got a paddle and then you're trying to paddle with one arm. With the motor, you just turn the button, reverse forward, steer with your feet, and you've got both hands to control the rod and focus on fighting the fish. I think that's about it on the fluid bumper. Uh, one other thing which comes standard on the kayak, very nice feature. Look on the side here, there'll be a looped rope system which goes around from the back to the front and there'll be a stainless steel ring on it. The reason for that is you'll be sitting on your kayak and you, there's no way you can get to the nose to tie your anchor over when you want anchor, you'll end up falling off. So what you do is hook your anchor onto the ring, throw your anchor line out, all you do is you pull on this rope and it will slide the ring either to the front or to the back, so whichever end you want to anchor. So pull your anchor in, pull it back again right next to you, pull your anchor line in, stay your anchor in the back. Rod holders that are standard on the bumper, two rear trailing rod holders, and then one I spoke about earlier is your bait up one in the middle. That's really handy when you want to put your bait on, you stand the rod in there, you don't have to lie across your lap wherever it's falling overboard. Well, thanks for joining me today at Wild Coast Kayaks. That was a quick run through on the fluid bumper. If you've got any questions, um, you can contact myself, Nigel. Um, we've got a Facebook page, Wild Coast Kayaks. Also our website, wildcoastkayaks.coza. Have a look on there, all the various models. And yeah, if you've got any questions, just give us a call, um, pop us an email, and we'll be willing to help um, get you a quote on a kayak and hopefully get you guys out there on the water having some fun this summer.